Hi guys, Andy here. Now this video might be useful to you if you currently own the Pixel 2 XL and you're thinking, well, should I should I shell out and upgrade to the Pixel 3 XL? It's not specifically about that. Um, I probably will do a video along those lines in the week, next week or so, so do subscribe if you haven't already. But this is just one of my head-to-heads. On the left we have the Pixel 2 XL, which has the Snapdragon 835 chipset. The CPU is an octa-core CPU, the GPU is a Adreno 540, and it has 4GB of RAM. On the right we have the 3XL with the Snapdragon 845, it also has the octa-core, uh, slightly faster CPU, Adreno 630 GPU, and 4GB of RAM as well. It's not all about the specs though, I'm doing various different tests including screen tests, browser tests, GPS tests, and in fact we're going to start it all off with the fingerprint sensor test. And that looks to be uh, pretty much a tie, I would say. And again, we'll go for one more attempt, but it's looking like they're basically exactly the same performance, which is quite interesting in itself, I think. So the first test is going to be a tie. I won't bother recording a win either side for that. And we're going to move on to Angry Birds 2 opening test, where the 2XL seemed to kind of, I don't know, freeze up when it was supposed to be opening. And the 3XL runs away to the easy win of the first run through. So I bet it, it seemed not quite right. So I'd like to run it a second time. Let's just make sure I get all apps closed because that could be a difference maker. That's a much quicker start this time from the 2XL. It's still a little bit behind the 3XL. And I think the 3XL is still going to take the win. There's not a huge amount between them there now. I'm not sure what happened the first time through, but that's that's a reasonably respectable result by the 2XL. We're going to move on to benchmark, and normally I use Geekbench 4, but I was trying to use it yesterday in one of these tests, and it was getting an error after the test, and the test takes about 7 or 8 minutes to run, and then it just says, I can't connect to Geekbench, and it wouldn't even give me the results, which seems a bit of a flaw to me. Why not give me the results anyway, but then say, hmm, please let me upload them to our database. Anyway, so I'm giving uh, Antutu to a run. And you can see actually the, the 3XL gets a bit out ahead in the test. Let me know if you know of a better benchmarker to use. And I know a lot of people don't like benchmarks anyway because devices can kind of ramp up their outputs for a benchmark. But at the same time, it's still showing you what the device can do. Even if it's ramped up to 100%, it's good to know what that 100% can be. I thought I'd also just sort of check temperatures. People do sometimes ask about it. I don't think there's particularly anything too interesting to be honest from this they're both very similar at one point it looked like the 3xl runs a bit warmer but then maybe not they're both around 33 basically give or take a degree or two nothing i would say to worry about that's not particularly hot so uh, but there it is just in case you're one of those people asking you ask i deliver uh, we've got the result for the 3xl already basically uh 287,000 which is pretty good, and the 2XL comes in at 210,000, so a clear difference there. Interestingly, the memory is one of the big differences. If you see that, it's only 5,000 a bit on the 2 and 15,000 on the 3. So quite interesting results, definitely the 3XL the winner of the benchmark. Now we've headed outside, where I will attempt to reset states and reset apps, and uh, just about did it, and then I'm going to go back into GPS status. They both locked, again, almost at the same time, but I feel like I need to give this to the 2XL because it does have better accuracy. The 3XL can see more satellites, and gradually it brings the accuracy down. And not that it's an issue. In fact, the 3XL is locked onto more satellites, but strangely, it's not quite as accurate. Finally, it gets the same accuracy. Well, in fact, finally, it's slightly ahead of the 2XL. But I'm gonna, I will give the GPS test to the Pixel 2XL. Then we're going to come back indoors to test the stereo speakers on both devices. We're all set to go, first of all, with some uh, music, a bit of Eminem. Tell me where to go, tell me what to do. I'll be right there for you. Tell me where to go, tell me what to do. I'll be right there for you. Nothing's the matter with me, sure, on the bright side. At least I ain't walking, I bike ride through the neighborhood of my neighborhood of my apartment complex on a 10 speed, which I've acquired parts that I find in the car. I 
Hopefully that's as obvious over the uh, video as it is in person. The 3XL has much better speakers. They are louder, they sound better. Um, the, it's not really it's not really a contest, if I'm honest. We're going to try the spoken word, though, next with a bit of a podcast. Essentially gave organizations like GCHQ and the NSA a free reign to go do mass surveillance. It also essentially gave organizations like GCHQ and the NSA a free reign to go do mass surveillance. I overturned a lot of the rules and laws, and now we're in the situation where also people I overturned a lot of the rules Google. and laws, and now we're in the situation where people are clamoring. Google and other uh, uh, social network providers and uh, search engine providers, are search engine providers, are being overwhelmed, quite frankly, with inquiries uh, about. Uh, so that's quite a clear victory for Three XL there. If uh, if the stereo speakers are important to you, that's quite a big difference they are really quite impressive on the 3xl let's move on to the screen brightness test for this i will turn off adaptive brightness i will crank both screens up to a 100 percent and i have my nice sort of clean blank white screen ready i'll grab my light detector which is measuring looks which i think is the same as lumens we see the 2xl it breaks into the 630s, but it's generally around about 600 as an average. The 3XL is pretty constantly above 670, peaking up in the high 690s. Um, so again, as with the speakers, I think it's quite an easy decision here. The screen, even with that big notch, is going to go to the 3XL. We're going to move on to the browser test next, both using Google Chrome. I'm going to clear all site storage and data to make sure that we're starting afresh. The 2XL has got, it's got quite a bit of data to clear because that was my daily for quite a long time and maybe I've not cleared the data since using it. So we will start off with uh, the BBC website. The 3XL snuck that one in. Not a massive difference, but the 3XL was quicker. Over to NFL.com. And that's very close, but I think the 3XL is just ahead. Um, then I made a bit of a mess up of going to the Verge like I normally do, so we're going to go to Engadget. And I'm not sure how this intervention screen. So actually, the 2XL possibly snuck through quicker, but then when we press OK, this, wow, oh, that's a dead heat, wasn't it? Well, maybe the 3XL is just slightly sneaking ahead again as the page loads. I will give the browser to 3XL, but it was very close. There was very little between them. They're both very smooth and slick. Um, so, yeah, I mean, let's like say if you are trying to decide between the two, I mean, even I know some people were thinking to buy the 3XL and they thought, well, maybe I'll get the 2XL, save myself a few hundred pounds. Maybe this test has helped you. I mean, it's quite a lopsided result in the end, 5-1. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. And even the GPS test was not convincing in the Pixel 2XL's favor. But... Well, there you go. I've, I've given you some results to uh, to think about. I will try and do a video if I have time. I've got a lot of videos to do on the merits of should you upgrade from the 2XL to the 3XL. But for now, leave me your thoughts in the comments down below. My name's Andy, and I'll catch you all again soon. Well done, and thank you for making it to the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, you might want to click the little fellow that should hopefully appear about here to subscribe. Um, you may also want to check out some of my other videos, which are going to appear somewhere there. Um, also, come have a look at my website, androidandy.uk. Um, there is also a forum. Come and say hello on the forum if you've got any questions about things or requests me to review things or anything else. Just come and have a chat on the forum.